Guys, today we have the solar sensor light, a two pack from Amazon. The brand name is Offixy, A U F I X Y. I purchased it because they will make great property lights. They are, they have three individual pieces. Let me just quickly unbox it that I can show you. They are completely packed. I thought they would be really bulky packaging wise. We look at the listing, but they came in a neatly packed box. Two individual lights. Two separate remotes, so you don't have to install them around the same property. You can actually install them at different properties, different areas, and easily use the remotes separately uh, to control them. Also, come with this mounting hardware and a quick user guide or manuals and how things are set up. Each unit. with its own solar panel that's mounted, pre-mounted on it. There needs to be no other installation needed. Uh, the notes, so you can use one remote on both of them or you use two, two of them separately. So in case you do lose one, you have another spare one. Uh, let me just quickly use this remote over here. So units are simply packed like this. In a compact packaging, they are highly, highly, highly maneuverable. Uh, so if you notice, the two side lights just come right out. You have them set up this way. Uh, the solar panel on top, mounted against the wall, flat. Uh, if you wish to have these mount pointed downwards in a, and you have them in a higher angle on your property to prevent anybody from tampering from them, you can. You can use them mount it at a much different angle. You could have the lights positioned in different, different angles. For different, different functionality, like if you want a walkway leading to your property line to properly lit up, you can just point them that way. That way, they are lighting up the sides. This is pointing directly down. Uh, the wireless range actually is great. I haven't tested these outside since I haven't installed them, but I did test them inside. Uh, I would say I got about 30 feet out of them. Yep, because I put them in the back of the room. Turn all the lights off and I would walk up all the way down the hallway and wait for the motion lights to go off. Then as soon as I move, they turn right around. Uh, they were not pointed directly at the path I was walking up from. They were pointed on an angle sideways. Uh, so they were like at a 45 degree angle almost, pointed at the walkway I was planning to use them in. And they would just pick me right up from about 30 feet away and turn on. Uh, if you're looking over here, uh, actually, they indicate the uh, sensing distance 20 feet. In my case, it was definitely a lot longer than 20 feet. It's supposed to be char fully charged in 6 to 8 hours solar light. I did charge them indoor under uh, some, solar, some uh, plant grow lights, and they seem to be charging completely fine under them. Uh, the work time at full brightness is supposed to be at a, a full charge 6 to 10 hours, which is pretty much up the whole night. Battery capacity for each individual unit is rated at 2400 milliamp hour. They don't look like they have serviceable batteries. I could be wrong. I would have taken it apart to take a look inside, but I would, from the brightness they are at, I have no doubt that they are that much. Uh, so just the installation height is 10 to 17 feet off the ground. Um, I'm, I'm planning to install them about 10 feet off the ground, and that should be more than enough in my case. The light output is great. I will try to cut the lights off in here to quickly show you what the light output looks like. It is about 5500 to 6000 K Kelvin uh, color temperature. It's not bluish white, it's more white white, plain white color. Um, and if you can see, you can see the set of LEDs on them, so I, have, I haven't counted them myself individually. But they seem to be about 122 like the manufacturer indicates they are. They are bright. This motion sensor does pick up motion pretty far away. Just actually use one of the units instead of having both over here in front. Basically, set it up this way. So this solar panel also acts as if the dust dawn sensor in a way. Uh, the power buttons over here in the back. The motor buttons are over here as well, hidden a bit behind there. Just flip the switch on the on this, you can see if I cut the lights, it comes right on. If I cover the solar panel, the LEDs turn right on, and they 
go off, it's going to take my hand off. Uh, I am going to cut the lights off now to show you how bright they get. Uh, so, warning ahead of time, if you're looking directly at the screen, this might be a little too bright. Yeah, they'll do the job. Uh, it's not totally blind, so on the computer on the background, but as you can see, it'll light up. adjustable so you can position these however you want to that makes them super super nice to have outside a multitude of different angles the solar panel is highly adjustable as well and as soon as the lights are on you turn off which is perfect that means a base thing battery on them the battery holds Put amount of charge and we'll keep charging throughout the day. Uh, the solar panel is highly adjustable up and down sideways. If you're if you're planning on flying at a certain angle around the house and you want them to get the best amount of sun in midday, you can easily position the solar power panel accordingly to have the solar panel does get the most amount of sunlight and it charges the batteries at best. Uh, the remote actually has on-off functionality as well to it. Uh, let's quickly, you know what, let me just quickly demonstrate that as well. Let's turn this off, that would lights turn on. Mode one, which is just full bright. Mode two, dim, detects motion goes full bright. We'll wait for it to go dim again. Okay, and then detects motion, full bright. Mode three will be just constant low brightness. It's not gonna be full bright, it's gonna be on the whole night. This is the, again, mode one, mode two, six motion goes bright, mode three, low brightness throughout the whole night, stays on, always on basically, uh, except when there was enough light outside, it turns off by itself. As you can see, if you need to power them off completely, you can without taking them off, just reach behind over here and flip the switch, the off position, the light will stay on. It will still charge, but it would just not put out any output in the, at night. Overall, I'm very impressed with the build quality of this. The components look very nice. The plastic seems very well put together. There doesn't seem to be any holes or gaps ex except the screw holes around uh, that you would have to worry about with water getting in and causing any kind of damage. Uh, the front covers covering the LED panels are clear completely clear as you can see and some reflective material in the backing over as well that will deflect and direct the light forward preventing it from escaping as much of sight or not focusing to areas that you don't want them to be um, the amount of screws that are there and less adhesives it looks like it's easily serviceable as well in case you want to take it apart and repair something or swap things out in the future if need be overall i'm totally impressed by this i can't wait to put this outside and actually put it to work uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to put them uh, in the comment section. I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, I'll also post a link of this item on my uh, in the description area. That way you can easily locate this on Amazon. And if you're interested in purchasing it, feel free to do so. Thank you so much for your time. Take care.